Hey everyone, I'm Vikas from Small Academy and welcome to another video on converting WordPress blog into an Android application. So in the last video, we extracted the data, we created the list of posts and created our list for that. And now in this video, we are going to go ahead and display that data. Now in this video, we are going to go ahead and display that data into the recycler view. As I said, to display the data into the recycler view, we are going to use the post adapter that we have already created. And now inside that post adapter, we are going to inflate the new custom view for the each item of the recycler view. So let's go ahead and create that custom view in our Android Studio. So this is where we left off at the last video. And now inside the layout, I'm going to create new post view. Okay. So this is going to have this constant layout, obviously. And now I'm going to add the card view inside this okay and this card view is also going to have the container that is constant layout obviously let me fix the constant and I'll give the ATP of margin on the all the sides okay and now let me make it match parent for now. Okay. So inside this, we're going to have one image and one text view for the title. So let me get the image view first. Okay. Sorry, that is the text view. So let me get the image view. Let's select some sample image for now. I'll select this one. Okay. So let me uh, give it match constant and uh, let's give it as 100 dp of height, okay? Okay. And now let me give the ID, so post image is the ID for this image view. And now we're gonna go ahead and add one text view and we'll give some ATP of margin top. So this is sample post title. Let me give the 16 SP of font size, make it black color and it's going to have the match constant on the both side so i'm going to give a dp of margin okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to make this card view wrap content okay and this constant view wrap content as well because if you don't do that it's going to mess up the design so let me make it a uh, center Okay, so this is our simple design. So let me give the ID for this title as well. Yeah, so this is the view that we're going to inflate into this post adapter. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. So in the main activity, come back here, we have this post list for the recycler view, right? So now I'm going to create the instance of post adapter class. So post adapter. I'm going to call it as adapter and now just after uh, this sync state I'm going to create the adapter instantiate the adapter class so new posts adapter okay and here we need to pass the list of posts okay and now post list is the recycler view and I'm going to add the adapter and we're gonna set the adapter okay so that's how we set the adapter to this but uh, right now it is not uh, exactly correct so let me extract the post before this adapter okay because uh, since we are passing this post here and we are uh, populating the data inside this post from this extract method that is inside here we are adding the post data here so 
if we add this extract data after this, we are not going to have any data. So our recycler view is going to be empty. So to make, to make sure that it is not empty, we are adding this uh, data here. So, and what we're gonna do is, each time when we add the data into this post, we're gonna notify the adapter as well. So adapter, notify data set change. So that it's going to display the, whatever the data that is added to this post or a list, okay? Now, uh, we'll see this in working when we run the application, but for now, let's go to post adapter. And here, currently the view holder, view holder is returning null, okay? So we need to return the view here. So let me create a view v, and we're gonna call layout inspector from the parent. And we're gonna get the, we're gonna get the context. Now we need to inflate, so layout r dot, layout dot we have this post view and we're going to pass the parent and false as the attached to root and now here what you can do is we can create new view holder and pass the view okay now in the on bind view holder we're going to create the instances of the uh, XML resources that we need to uh, extract. So that is post image and the post title. So let me create the image view for the post image and text view for the post title. And now I need to initialize that. So let me create one view as well. So view, view. And here I'm going to initialize the view with item view. And this item view represent the, this post view. Okay. And now I can uh, initialize the post image with the XML resources. And we need to reference that through item view because this post image is present inside this custom view that we have created, not in the main activity, right? So that's why we need to reference that through this item view. So find view id r dot id dot post image. Okay. And post title is the next one. So item view dot find view id r dot id post list. Uh, not post list, post title. Okay. Now we should be able to reference this post image and post title here in the onbind view holder. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually get that. So we need to reference this view holder, this view holder through this holder variable that is given to us here. So holder dot post title dot set text. And now we can extract the title of our post that is passed through this all post here. So we have this position. So each position represent the uh, each post in this all post list. Okay. So let me call the all post dot get and index is position, right? Now we can get all these set of data. So what we are trying to get here is title. So get title. Okay. Now, uh, let's go ahead and run this application just to make sure that everything is working. And if not, we'll go ahead and debug it. Okay because I'm not sure everything is going to work at the first time we are running it. So let's run this. It might crash, so it's normal, don't worry. Okay, we'll wait for the few seconds. We'll go to look at. Okay, so we do have this response available to us, but it is not working because there is a pretty good reason we have not added the layout. So obviously, uh, our recycle view is going to need a uh, layout so we need to set the layout first so let's come back here just after this before this adapter what i'm going to do is i'm going to create grid layout manager so manager new grid layout manager and here we need to pass the context and the span count that is two in our case and now we can use post list that is our recycler view dot set layout manager and we'll pass the manager and now hopefully it's going to work now 
but uh, we're not sure, so let's run this. Okay, wait for a few seconds. Okay, we got the response. Let's go to our app and you can see we are getting all this data. So we have uh, assigned this title. So we are getting this title, but uh, our image is not displayed obviously. So we'll fix that later. But for now, we got all this data available to us. So we have finally extracted this data and displayed here. So let's go ahead and save this image as well from the onbind view holder. So come here. And now we need to use Picasso here. So picasso.get.load and we need to pass the URL of the image here. So we can get the URL of image from the, obviously the all post list. Okay, so position and dot get feature image. And we need to specify the target that is the image view. And in our case, that is post image. Holder dot post image, obviously. Okay, now it should load the image. So we'll go ahead and see. So you can see the image is displayed automatically. Okay, so this is the initial version of the post that is displayed here. And you can see some posts are having the higher length and some are having the uh, little less because it is because of the title. We can fix that, but we will not talk about that. You can Google it and you will get the simple solution there. Okay. So now in the next post, what we are going to do is we are going to set the post details activity. We are going to create that. And whenever we click on this, we are going to display the uh, content of this post in the details activity with the title in the title bar. Okay, so I'll see you there.